By now, you may have seen the leaks about the upcoming killer for Chapter 34, so if you don't want any potential spoilers, I'll give you a 5 second warning for you to click off this video. You don't have to go too far though, you know, I mean, you could watch one of my other videos in the meantime. Just saying. Alright, with that warning out of the way, the leaks have suggested that the new killer is called the Hellion, and seems to be a bounty hunter type of killer. So let's dive into what this killer could be bringing into the fog if the leaks are indeed true. Let's talk about it. Alright, real quick, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about the match you are about to see in the background. I have come across a tunneling plague, and I was blessed with no mither or no mither, however the heck you're supposed however you're supposed to say that. Um, as I've said a million times, I am a killer main, so once I read in that description that no mither makes you broken for the duration of the match, I didn't look at anything else. All I know is I'm hurt and I can't be fully, uh, <laughs> I cannot fully recover. So for somebody for me that is not good at Survivor, that is awful. So I somehow got a tunneling killer and got no mither, which is something I do not run, have no experience with, and I'm not that good in chase. So I'm sure some of you guys will be rushing to the comments to talk about how, how bad of a survivor I am. I don't play survivor that often. I'm a killer main and I got a perk that I really don't have any good experience with. The reason I'm mentioning that I don't have experience with that perk is for a reason you will see toward the end of the match where I did not even know that I can get up. Don't judge me. Like I said, don't have experience with the perk. So still listen to the video, but it'll be some, some, some entertainment going on in the background. So back to the video. All right, so I know it goes without saying, but this could all be just, you know, just pure rumors and speculation, even though I have seen a couple of sources that uh, that have pretty much said it's, you know, it's confirmed. But as always, until we hear any type of confirmation from behavior, this could all just be a fun conversation. But assuming that there is some credibility to the leaks, let's go ahead and talk about it. You may have heard uh, the rumors that in the lore, part of the concept, that originally it was always a bounty hunter, but instead of a dog, at least I believe instead of a dog, um, that she had actually a slave. So that wouldn't have been a good look. I'm glad I've, I've heard that they scrapped that idea. I would not have, like a lot of you, I'm sure, um, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm glad that uh, that idea was scrapped. But now it seems like, you know, it's still just a bounty hunter, but it's a dog. Um, obviously, we don't know much about this killer or this chapter, so um, we don't know anything past that if this is even true. But I do like the idea of like a bounty hunter of some sort with a, with a dog companion um, that she has that accompanies her uh, in the trials. So that seems really cool. Now, as far as appearance, I think the, this concept, uh, this photo that we're seeing, um, I think this is really cool. A few people have been mentioning that some some similarities to Skull Merchant with the possibility of she looks like she's uh, wealthy. Um, and I can see that as well. But of course, you know, we don't we know nothing about this killer. This could this could still be fake. Um, but she, I will agree, though, that she does look wealthy. Like maybe it is something similar to the Skull Merchant where she does this for sport instead of the money. Or maybe it's not that at all. Maybe it's like a time period type of deal where that's just how they dressed um, in this time period. Something like that um, could be. It could be a lot of things. But I do like the look. Um, some people pointed out about the dog about how the dog looks just kind of normal for for the entity's realm and i would agree with that um i do i would hope that the dog is a little more i don't know just entity looking uh upon final final release or once we get to the ptb if this is real um but if it is just a regular dog um looks like it's a cane corso or i believe it's actually pronounced um cane corso however it's properly pronounced it does look like a cane corso type of pitbull type of type of deal if it is just a regular dog i'm cool with that too um it'd be interesting to see what type of um cooperative play um that they have together bringing to the trial but i do agree that it would be cooler if this was a more like monstrous type of companion you know but i'm okay with the just the regular dog look that could be interesting something that we haven't had the closest thing to that would be dracula with um you know the wolf form but of course that's not a companion that's just another form but you know just closest similarity and then lastly we can uh talk about power of course it's it's you know really far really far out if this is indeed the next chapter and the next killer um but i would think that 
you know, I, I saw a couple of cool ideas um, on the internet. And of course, you guys, you know, feel free to drop your ideas of what you think the power could be, what you'd like to see if this is indeed true. Um, I would say something where you probably, it'll probably be something where you kind of, I don't know if they're gonna, if you're gonna be able to control the dog like the whole time. It may be something where the dog is more like reconnaissance or it like mark survivors or it, you know, maybe I even saw, I think I saw someone saying it kind of, it can attack survivors and then kind of pin them and then wait for uh, the hellion or the killer to get to you, kind of similar to um, the twins. It could be, but as we as we see, that would be very similar um, to the twins. So I guess there's no way of saying that if it is that there's, it's gonna have similarities to the twins, if we're being honest. But you never know. I mean, e even if it is, even if they, it is a little similar in theory, but they switch it up to obviously bring something new to the table. I'm down for that. Um, I think this could be a, a pretty cool killer. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. You guys drop your power ideas uh, below in the comment section, and we'll talk about it. Um, I'm sure you guys have a lot of great ideas. Just wanted to hop on and make a quick little video uh, about this uh, potential true, maybe not true leak. Um, I think this could be a cool chapter. Um, of course, I wouldn't be on board for the slave stuff. <laughs> um, but, you know, it does look like if this is true, then, you know, it's that's not the case anyway. Um, plus, as we've seen, behavior is very, you know, aware and, um, um, you know, self-conscious and everything. So don't think we have anything to worry about um, on that end. But yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts. I appreciate each and every one of you. As I always say, stay safe and I will see you in the fog.